I got up in the middle of night. I was sweating profusely. I had a nightmare. No, I didn't see any ghosts or monsters. Neither were there any signs of zombies. These things actually fascinate me and don't scare me. The things which I'm actually scared of are simple events that happen in reality. Like once I dreamt that my dog Lizley wasn't responding to my mom's blabbering and she blamed me that I have done something with her dear pet. The next morning I woke up, I found the filthy dog right at her usual place on my mom's lap, showing her shimmering teeth to me as if teasing me that she was mom's favorite, not me. I hate her. She always snatched my mom's attention from me by making that puppy face, which my mom find cute, but I find that disgusting. And then afterwards, she grins at me, showing signs of triumph, as if stealing mom from me isn't enough. Papa is the only person who truly understands me. But anyway, let's come back to the nightmare. This was actually a real nightmare, which I never wanted to imagine, but it showed itself right to my face. I saw a huge sharp blade, which was going to strike my dearest mango tree. This might not even sound a nightmare to most of the people, but it is the worst nightmare for me. Mango tree and I grew up together. When I was three years old, my papa and I laid the mango seed in a little garden. I was so happy then. I watered it daily, waiting eagerly for it to show its small stem and leaves. I took care of it with my whole heart. When it rained, I covered it with a plastic sheet with tiny holes so that it didn't flow away with water. When the air moved vigorously, I put a pot with a small hole on the top so that the air doesn't take my mango tree away from me. Now, my mango tree is all full grown up and it has got so many large sized leaves, buds and a strong bark in which there are hundreds of branches protruding from the center. Everyone expected that the mango tree would be a sweet yellow mangoes, but due to some reason, it didn't. So now it's just a tree which doesn't bear mangoes. That is not much of use for everybody else. But for me, the mango tree is special. At times, when my mood is spoiled, I look outside at the mango tree and a big smile spread across my face. Though my mango tree does not bear fruits, it does bear thoughts in my mind. My mango tree is like a lively baby who moves around with his falling leaves to every corner of the house. My house is a home because there is a living baby in this house. The baby whom I have cared for and nurtured since from the beginning. And who, instead of becoming big and tall, is still a little baby from inside. He is much taller than me in height, but smaller in age and behavior. Finding him by my side is the best feeling. I feel like I'm something with great responsibilities and that there's someone in this house who is younger than me, unlike mom and papa. My mango tree is a playful and loving creature and I won't ever let my nightmare become a reality. After taking these important decisions, after taking these important decisions, I went downstairs and had my breakfast. 
I didn't mention this nightmare to my mom. In the evening, when I and Papa were walking on the terrace as our daily routine, I looked at the mango tree and smiled. I guess Papa had sensed that something was going inside my mind. He too joined me and we looked at the mango tree for a long time. Then after some time, just to be sure that Papa also thinks the same way that I do, I said, Papa, we would never cut our mango tree, no matter what happens. Papa smiled and nodded. This moment, I realized, my nightmare was just a dream and Papa wouldn't let the mango tree struck with a blade and get it laid on the floor, lifeless, no more like a playful little baby. Thank you.